Hello. Welcome to the Media Center. Make sure you have your pass before you come. This is where you sign in to the Media Center. If you're here to find a book, you're going to come over to the fiction section of the Media Center. We have a wide variety of books. After you select the book, you're going to walk over to the front desk and begin to fill out a green slip. Make sure you have all the information to fill out your green slip. This includes your Block 5 teacher, your grade, graduation year, and the book barcode that's located on the front of your book. Once you're done filling out your green slip, you're going to place it in the sign out bit right next to it. If you have any questions, just ask for Mrs. Scanlon. Mrs. Scanlon! Yes, Brittany! I have a question about signing out a book. Hi. Certainly. When you're finished with the book on, you can just place it in this drop off bin. Okay. We usually give two weeks, but if you need more time, you can just renew it. Oh, well, thank okay? you. Okay? Just see me if you have any other questions. Okay. Okay? When you're in the library and you need supplies, you come over here, located right behind the circulation desk. Here are the staplers, hole punchers, tape, markers, crayons, extra paper, etc. Okay. You also have access to the copy machine. If you need help making copies, you can always ask Mr. Hooven or Mrs. Scanlon. When you come in the library on a pass, you must use the desktops located in the front of the library. The library also features iPads for extensive research. See Mr. Hooven or Mrs. Scanlon if you would like to use one. When your teacher signs you your class in for a research assignment, you might be sitting in one of our classroom sections. Here's the first one. In this section, you may also find encyclopedias and other reference materials. If your class is located back in this section, you'll be using the laptops right here in this cart. When you print your material, all of your work will be here at printer 4. Follow me to the second classroom section, located on the opposite side of the library. find the rest of your non-fiction books. If your class is in the second section, you'll be using the laptops located right here. When using this section, your material will print to printer 3. Now let me show you all about the library's website. To access the computer, you must type in the password first. To access the library website, all you have to do is double click on Internet Explorer or Mozilla Firefox. One of the features of the library website is that you can access online databases. online databases that we have are Power Library, Literature Online, Historical Newspapers, History Study Center, and Culture Grants. These databases offer scholarly research that are checked frequently for accuracy. To check the hours and upcoming events of the library, click on the following link.
As you can see, the hours of the library, Monday through Friday, are 7 a.m. to 3 p.m. If you are interested in the Knights Reading Club, see Mr. Hooven or click on the file attached. If you are not sure if the library has a book that you would like to read, click on the book catalog link. Click on the picture below to visit our catalog. Select Academy Park High School. To locate a book in the library, you may type in keyword, title, author, subject, or series in the search bar. For instance, if you would like to read The Great Gatsby, type it in to the search bar. If the book you would like to read is available in the library, it will show you on the right hand side. Once you find that your book is available, look under the title of where your book will be located in the library. The letters F, I, C show, that, show you that the book is located in the fiction section of the library. Remember, the books in the fiction section are placed in alphabetical order by the author's last name. Once you locate your book in the library, exit out of the catalog. The last thing I would like to show you on the website are the book talks. If you're interested in one of the following books, you can click on the picture of the cover. After clicking on the cover, you can read a short book talk by Mr. Hooven himself. Mr. Hooven will also be uploading videos on popular teen books. When you're ready to leave the library, make sure that you close all of your desktop windows. As you exit the library, don't forget to sign out and have a great day.